What's going on YouTube? MME here, and today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to use your iPad on an external display. Now, I know a lot of you guys have, uh, you know, been ingrained into the Apple environment with the MacBooks and all the iPads and stuff, and I just wanted to show y'all a quick tip on how you can use your iPad on a much bigger display. This could be your monitor, this could be your TV, this could be basically any other external display. It doesn't have to be a smart display, which is uh, what you use if you have a smart display uh, or a smart TV with uh, Apple uh, TV. So you can do AirPlay with that, uh, where the iPad just streams straight to the TV. But if you don't have that, which many monitors don't, I'm gonna be showing you all how to get around that. Let's get straight into it. Before we get started, I can see that a large percentage of you haven't subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button to help me hit my goal of 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. So here are some of the things you'll need. So if you have a MacBook, the iPad, uh, an HDMI cable to plug into the display, as well as an adapter, because you know all these new MacBooks, they, uh, they run Thunderbolt or USB-C. So you need an HDMI to USB-C adapter, as well as lightning to USB-C or USB-C to USB-C if you're using one of the newer iPads Pros, um, but just something to plug your iPad into your computer and something to plug your computer into the TV or monitor. So I'm gonna show you what you can do if your TV or monitor external display supports Apple TV. So you uh, just do this drop down right here. You click on screen mirroring, you click on the TV, and then there should be a code that pops up on the TV and you just input that in, nine five, and you should have instant mirroring straight onto uh, your TV. So you can uh, go around, you can go into the camera, and as you can see, it's uh, perfectly mirroring. You can go into Netflix, You can scroll through, show kind of thing. This this isn't what you'd really be using it for, but if you wanted to go into notability, for example, and you needed to take some notes and you wanted to kind of present on big screen, you could definitely do that right here. Uh, but as you can see, it's a little bit delayed. So I'm gonna show you what you can do uh, where your TV does not support uh, Apple TV mirroring, or you're using just a regular monitor, so you will need your laptop, you will need the HDMI attached to the TV, you will plug into your iPad right here, plug the lightning cable in and the USB-C cable into your computer, right? And then you're going to, on your laptop, you're going to launch QuickTime Player, the application. Then you go to the top left where it says File and you click on New Movie Recording. Once you click on here, you can go up on here and you click on iPad and you can make it full screen. Then on your TV, you're going to switch to the HDMI source. So you will go to the HDMI 2 source. And as you can see, now your iPad is mirrored onto the screen and mirrored onto the TV. So you can uh, go into Notability, for example, and you can just And as you can see, there should be very, very minimal delay on the TV. So uh, that's pretty cool. And this is pretty useful if you wanna present something, if you wanna show anything on a larger display from your iPad. Um, this is very useful, it can be, can be done for your TV or really any monitor that uh, you can plug your laptop into. So you just need your laptop, your iPad, plug those in, go on to QuickTime Player, click New Movie Recording, and that's pretty much it. Pretty useful trick. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in a later video. Peace.